This is a recap of Sadie's first stay. Sadie is fearfully reactive. We've already done some acclimation with Enzo where they're out of sight. He can't see her, she can't see him. They can only smell and hear each other. And now we're doing some basic integration. That was the first night, this is the next morning. I've got her on a long line, so she's not queuing off of her leash. And I'm just reinforcing all attention and coming away from the dog, paying attention to me. This is also Enzo's first time seeing her and getting a glimpse of her, so he is standing by the gate. I set him up with the remote treat machine, but he decided he was not interested in food because he's kind of a finicky eater in the mornings. But same thing with Sadie, I'm just looking for eye contact and attention and to come away from him quickly. I'm watching her body to see if she is nervous or anxious or if she's overly focused on him and she is just trying to avoid him. The whole experience is new to her, so all of it is a bit much. Add to the being dad being away and boarding for the first time to and add this puppy. There you go. It's a lot. So I'm just practicing, seeing how her body language does, if she is trying to ignore and or avoid him or if she's focused on him. If she's ignoring and avoiding, that's a better prognosis than if she's overly focused on him. And now I'm just doing some find it in his presence. I'm reinforcing her for choosing to look away and working on a little bit of let's go. So right there, she looks at him, takes a sniff of him and looks away. I mark the look away and then do two treats for success. One treat for turning her head towards me and then another treat to get her entire body to kind of follow away from the trigger, which in this case is Enzo and the gate. So right there, she looks at him. I mark the look away, then reinforce and then a second reinforcement to pull her body away and then toss a handful. Now watch this exchange. The lip lick and the shying away from my hand means she's not interested in being petted. So if I pet her to try to calm her down or soothe her, it can make it worse. This is still the first full day of boarding for her. So there's a lot going on for her right now. But by later that same day, her body language is already showing an improvement. This is by the evening. We've already done a little bit of separation with the confinement area and now we're just doing relaxed shared space. This is the weekend. We can lay in the same bed together calmly. Nobody's moving around on the ground or going outside together here. But we're just relaxing on the same in the same area. And then by Monday morning, we've got the collies up back by about three gates, and here she is. Still nervous about it, but not bad.